Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, okay. So the level we're going to play today, it's a level by Kimani Hobbykins. It's called Tall Little Magic. Let's play! <laughs> the code for this game is J seven Z A V G six V D. So I like this already. It has a candy theme to it. Alrighty, so I'm bouncing around. I'm gonna try and find the star. And the star's down there, so we just gotta get to it. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so we hit a door, and this says that the number of gems has to be greater than 100. So we have to find some more gems. I have three gems right now, but I'm gonna have to find some more. Let's find some more. Let's not get hurt on those spikes. There's a little blimp up here, but no gems. There's a clock up here, and some rainbows, and a crazy electric ball. Oh, there's the gems up there. So I'm gonna have to try and get up there. All right, here's some stairs. Okay, I'm gonna use a clock. I'm gonna not die on the spikes. All right, I'm up. Oh no, oh no, 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 I don't wanna get hit by the spikes. Ah, okay. Alrighty, so we're up. We're, it is, it's about time for me to win this game, I think. There we go. Alrighty, so I'm getting these gems, I'm getting these gems, I'm getting these gems. There are so many gems up here, it's exciting. Let's get all the gems. I'm gonna get all, got all the gems, and we're going back. Wait a minute, I have one gem? But I collected all those gems. You guys saw me, I collected all those gems. I'm gonna go back to the door, I'm gonna see, maybe something happens? What happens? Maybe once you hit so many gems, oh, I need 100. What is this? I collected all those gems, you guys saw me collect all those gems. And now I'm back down to one? Ah. Oh. All right, I'm going to go back. I'm gonna try again, you know what? Before I try again, I want to see what's happening. Why am I getting uh, only one gem when I collected all those gems? All right, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna check out this gem. It says, once hit by the player, add three to the number of green gems and then disappear. So that's working. We know that's working. And then these gems, it says, once hit by the player, add one to the number of gems and then disappear. And that's all the code they have. Oh, and then this one on the right hand side, that's that's what messed me up here. So this code says, when hit by the player, set the number of gems to one and then disappear. So it's slightly different from these gems over here. And if you can see when I tap back and forth, the, the green gem, the tiny green gem says, add one to my green gem count and then disappear. This one, the glowy one, it says set my gem count to one. Now, if you look at the code here, if you tap on the little orange thing beneath the code, you have your options. You can change the time variable, change the pink variable, change the green variable, right? And then you can do something, you can add, you can subtract, and then there's an arrow here. So what this arrow means is when the player hits this object, it will set the number of gems to one. This is a little bit different than adding or subtracting. It says, no matter how many green gems you have, you now have one green gem. So that's what was messing me up. I ran all the way up here and then I didn't stop. And <laughs> I ran into this green glowy gem and I got only one green gem. And then by that point I had exhausted all of the green gems in the level and I had none left. So we're gonna try this game one more time. I'm gonna jump up. Whoa. And I need 100 green gems. And so I remember from last time, I'm gonna go all the way to the right, double jump and jump. Let's go. Remember from the beginning, we need 100 or more green gems. And we can't hit that last one because if we hit that last one, then our number of gems are, is gonna be set to one. That's not, I'm gonna leave the other ones because I don't wanna bump into that one. Alrighty, and I'm gonna run back to the door. Gonna jump up, doing all these jumps, and going back to the door. We're good to go. We got the star, and we won the game. I'm going to edit that level one more time, and this will make it a little bit longer, but I wanna try it out. 
I noticed at the end, you needed to get 100 gems to open up this door, and then you were pretty much done. You could just go and get the star. I wanna make a little tweak to this, and this will make the level a little bit longer. I'm gonna add another door here. I'm gonna go into the shop, and I'm gonna buy another door. So the reason that I buy a second door is that code is the same across all doors of the same type. So if I put another one of these temple doors here, it'll have the exact same code of if green gems is greater than 100, then open the door. But I wanna write something a little bit different on this one. So I'm gonna put this different door in, and I'm gonna say, I want green gems to be equal to one. And if green gems is equal to one, the door will open. I'm gonna duplicate this right here. Put that back up there. And so this is a little cheat for myself, just so I can win the game and I can show you guys how it works. I'm gonna set this guy to add 100 gems. This gem is set to once the player hits it, you add 100 to the green gem count. So if I was playing this normally and I didn't make these cheats for myself, I'd have to go all the way over, I'd have to collect all 100 gems, and then I'd have to come back, open the door, and then go and collect the, the one gem that sets your gem count to one, and then come back and open that second door. Oh no, it has to be greater than 100. I'll go up and collect one of these gems. And jump, I got 102 gems. I'm gonna go back to this door. I have 100 gems. I'm gonna get one gem, and then this, it says your number of gems is equal to one. So I got through the door and I got the star. Alrighty, so that's just an example of some things that you can do when you're remixing the level. You can make your own changes to it, you can add items, you can subtract items, you can change the code on items, and then once you're done, if you want to, you can publish the game to the community and other people can play your game. I will see you guys next time. In the meantime, keep coding, keep playing, and I'll see you later. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe down below.